Hello, Brent here with All Octane here. In this video, I'm going to open up some of the brand new Mashbox moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs. This has a pretty cool set. It's got the Mitsubishi, it's got the Bollinger, it's got the uh, Tahoe, the Blazer EV, the Ram, and the Aria. So let's go ahead and start with the Nissan Aria. This is, I believe, an electric SUV or plug-in hybrid SUV. And uh, yep, it's got a moving part. It's got an opening hood. So I guess, let's see, it's probably not a, well, could be battery electric. Yeah, it's probably a plug-in or a hybrid because it has maybe an engine up front, which is probably why you have the opening hood. Wow, the fit and finish is fantastic on that. Look at that. That is spectacular. Nissan Aria on the license plate. Absolutely stunning. And again, you can open up the hood. That might actually be kind of hard to open because the fit and finish is so well. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh, there we go. Got it on the side. Very detailed engine bay too. I'm, I'm not really sure what the rhyme or reason is to how and what uh, Matchbox determines. I mean, obviously licensing. So the, the Nissan probably wanted that to be tampoed, the, the engine. So they saved money by putting this as all plastic, left this as metal, the hood as metal, the fit and finish is again, fantastic, but they probably put the effort then into tampering the engine bay, mostly, I would imagine, because Nissan wanted that. That was probably important. All right, let's go ahead and open up the Chevy Tahoe, the 2020 Chevy Tahoe, which, wow, a 2020 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, goodness gracious. If you watch Dave B sell Chevy, he's on YouTube, and uh, they have a hard time getting in Tahoes and Suburbans and stuff like that. So the fact to find a 2020 Tahoe, um, yeah, it's in diecast, but it's still, you found one, right? See, there's not as much Tampa work in there, and I'm guessing it's because GM doesn't really mind. I guess there's some Tampa work. Yeah, you can see some lines that are tampoed. I think maybe the engine cover is tampoed. Let's see about the fit and finish. Ah, oh, well, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. It sticks up pretty far. Man, I had high hopes for this one because I like Suburbans and Tahoes. But there we go. There is the Tahoe. Maybe if I can shake it a little bit. I'll try that off camera, but yeah. A little bit of a bummer fit and finish there. So let's try the other GM product. We got the 2024 Chevy Blazer EV. I like the bronze wheels. So let's go ahead and check that out. And Matchbox vehicles been hard to open. All right, let's go. There we go. Oh, you can hear the rattling on that one. Definitely better fit and finish than the Tahoe. Kind of like the Nissan, except this one falls open, which is, I guess, kind of nice. Man, no. Is, is that a battery pack? Because it's a Blazer EV, so it's not a frunk. Uh, I don't know. I would imagine this is going up against the Ford Mach-E. But yeah, the fit and finish is nice. Nice red paint. Tampa works are okay. Um... It's just, when you're judging moving parts, if you're opening hoods and you just see that, um, and there's not a lot of tampa work on it, what are you looking at? I have seen one of those in real life though. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, we've got 2020 Ram Rebel. Oh boy, and the controversy around the new Ram EV. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's got all electric. Not this one, obviously, but it's gonna be the Ram Charger. It's all electric and it has an onboard generator. So battery powered, but it has an onboard generator. Good idea, bad idea, discuss below. We've got the Ram Rebel 4x4. And uh, yeah, see, now Ram just doesn't seem to care apparently because there's no tampa work on that supercharger, which is kind of a bummer because that's a really cool part and you'd figure that would be, um, you know, what you'd want to see. I like the grill though. That looks fantastic. White paint looks good. Yeah, 
All right, next up we have the Bollinger, Bollinger B2. And this has, I think, two moving parts, if I'm not mistaken, because it has, does the tailgate go down? Yeah, it does. Okay, so just like in real life, the tailgate goes down and the hood goes up and maybe the front, yeah, okay, yeah. So they did it just like in real life. So this is three moving parts as opposed to just about everything else, mostly because this is a battery electric truck and it is, uh, since it has uh, nothing, you know, drive tunnels or anything like that, you can put stuff all the way through from the hood down all of that. So if we put that back up, we close the hood, we close the tailgate. Look at that. Nice and simple. Pretty cool. All right, last up is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4. Very much an initial D kind of feel. Boom, chrome fives, epic taillights, huge wing. I think, no, that's, I was gonna say that's plastic because it looks a little different. And there you go. That is how you tampo an engine. Mitsubishi, red, Got some other parts like the battery and stuff. I mean, that is fantastic. That, that is how you do that. And the fit and finish, spectacular. There is a fantastic moving parts car. That is how you do it. So there you have it. There are some Matchbox moving parts that I was able to find on the pegs. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.